out with Moose. It's just World like viral. Old times. Yeah, that's right. World viral TV, baby. We've had some pretty cool interviews, man. Yeah, it's been an eclectic show, and these shows keep getting more and more uh, full throttle. I want to say we we've got we're having a good wide array of guests. You know, obviously we had Cannabis Kitties tonight. We had Homemade Crazy all the way from Nebraska. Uh, we've got a great show going on up at Herman's tonight. There's already a decent crowd accumulating at the bars, so I'm pretty excited to watch some of this music. We got Kate Tucker and the Sons of Sweden in the house tonight. I saw her setting up her merch earlier this evening. This is going to be an exciting She's night. She's super cool, man. I walked by her. They, I guess they played like th- they're doing 30 out of 33 days. So yeah, that's a good tour. They're, that's that's they're pretty working aggressive hard, man. Touring. They're working hard, and she seems super cool. Yeah, and good she for wants them. to come down and, and meet us. Yes, let's. We'll bring her down in just a minute. But right now, we are going to debut our new segment called the motel minute we showed you the the trailer for this segment at the top of the program and we're, now we're going to show you the meat some of uh, the meat some of the meat yes not all of the meat because we keep some of it packaged we're going to uh we're going to show you what we got right now next week we're going to have a much more drama filled uh uh session i can just feel it you can feel it i can feel that the crackheads and the tweakers are going to clash <laughs> over the course of the next week in the parking lot next we, door. We should play the trailer again. Yeah, let's Did play you, the trailer first, I, and then I would we'll like to see it yeah, too. Let's let's play the trailer, right. and then we're going to play. I the got meat. The, something else queued up in the meantime. That's awesome stuff. Like that's the motel minute. I like it. I'm glad to be. You think it's a keeper? It. Look at the yeah, watch, watch this. this. This is outside. This is out back of Herman's Hideaway. Live, not live, but it happened here live. <laughs> it really happened. Bam! Whoa. God, dude. <laughs> dude, accelerating to the last second. That's I mean, Michael Ross' yeah. voice. He really trying, wanted to kill that guy. Yeah, not trying to miss the guy. That's trying to fucking hit the guy. Wow. And he's out after him. Before we even get out the door. <laughs> I mean, the guy just sprints and then turns around and straight sprints back the other way, dude. Isn't that awesome? Like, not the, uh, not to take anything away fence. from him, but this guy sucks at running away from a car that's chasing you. I feel like if you're running away from a chasing car, you should be able to get away from it pretty fucking easily. There's this a lot true. of places that you can go that a car can't go. Well, I would have went over the fence. Over Why don't you go into 7-Eleven? Chad from Evergreen Apothecary. Hey, hey, nice to meet you. What's up, Look at his shirt hey, matches hey, hey, the freaking good. couch, dude. That's right now, here you go. Tell me you didn't plan that. That looks great. I'll blend right in then. I got something for you after we're done. Uh-oh. So yeah. I'm Are you on my YouTube cool. channel, Chris? We're in the I same. Thought you industry. put it on my awesome. wall. Cool. I did, but it's also on my YouTube channel. Oh my god. All right. My personal, my my work YouTube channel. Okay. Just search Tim Winger, CMB. Or just Tim Winger. Oh, man. I'm, uh, oh, hell yeah. I work for Stringwise and their promotion strategy. But I should be the top one. Stuff. Whoa, there's me. There it I is. See, I see, see me. That was pretty good guidance. Yeah. Thanks. Awesome. Oh, here, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Pause. Pause it. Pause it. All right, so we're here. We got to... We're going we're gonna to ready the situation. We need Finn sitting down. Yes. Chad doesn't know what's going on. So we started <laughs> a new... Se- alley, so yeah. <laughs> we've tried, we, we're debuting a new right? segment this week. This is the, the trailer for it. It's called the Motel Minute, where each week we're going to film the fucking tweakers in the motel next door and all you the crazy stuff that, they do. You might catch some death well, over there. Yeah. Catch what? Yeah. Just look, it, look dude, over. It's really cool when if you look over the fence when we get to the part where he's filming over the fence look there's like a tv just sitting there in the in the yard it's awesome all right let's do this you ready we're ready make sure the volume's up all right so we're here outside of the uh we're here outside of the motel next door to herman's hideaway it's pretty calm right now but we feel if we wait long enough some crackhead action is going to happen so we're going to we're going to check now <laughs> the sirens are perfect. Yeah, it is. Not much going on. It's raining though, so we just stick our thumb in its ass. We all know that crackheads are afraid of rain. I think that's one of the few times you don't have I know, I know. That's this is gonna be the easiest segment ever. Look at the yard. Look at all that <laughs> shit that's just out front of these people's room. That's, that's behind the uh, legendary yeah. Herman's Hideaway. Yeah. This is the also. Legendary Red Pine Motel. The Red Pine. Yeah. If we wait go. long enough, something will happen. We're going to check back here in a little bit. We're going to just kind of do periodic updates, uh, periodic check-ins. I'm sure by next week we're going to have a really good segment. All right. <laughs> 
There you, there go. you go. That's the trailer That's for great Motel stuff. Man. Good job, Moose. <laughs> Very awesome. All I right. Uh, so now we're going to show. Apparently, when I went to dinner tonight, CT got some footage. I got two. I have to transfer another one over, but here's one of them right here. All right. The Not, Motel Minute. I mean, this is just kind of literally shooting from the hip. I didn't want them to know that I was uh, doing this. Well, we don't want them to know at all because otherwise they're going to make us stop doing it. That's true. Hello, mister. What up, Dave? How you doing there, sir? Good, man. You manning it? Manning it. All right. I'm just getting documentary style everything that happens at Herman's, you know, and behind it. <laughs> That's Dave hold, holding it down. Who is that now? His name's Dave. He's super cool. He manages the motel next door. Ah, oh. That dude deals with all this shit, dude. <laughs> He's seen wow. some shit. Yeah. He's actually it's been good. holding it down pretty well lately. Everything good? Yes, sir. Just making sure everything's all right back here. Awesome, man. And then this guy is just, like, using the alley. He's, like, dumping shit in the trash. You know what? What? What inspired actually to do the uh, the phone call That's sessions yeah. was I got a really messed up message from the previous manager of the yeah. motel. Oh really? Not yeah, and, like the one we heard and it got before. it got deleted. You know, there's been a bunch of gyms. I know we're gonna have good good call-ins too. So yeah. Well, I like the yeah, one the last time. We're just talking. We talk about see that that property on the uh, the property on the end of the uh, block. Yeah. They uh, the gentleman throwing stuff away was throwing stuff away to move in. Should I just drop it? Fashion Nations. I thought you. I thought that that's guy I heard. was homeless. He said that, and I have an interview with him as well. When not an interview, but he came into the office to. Uh, but he's so he wants he's to actually work here. like the manager of Fascinations. No, I, I mean he's a very mysterious guy. He did admit to being homeless, but I can't judge him based. But he on didn't that. look homeless. He looked like a like a. I mean, he's only like in his twenties, maybe his young thirties. Yeah, he, I mean, he just looked like a pothead. Yeah, yeah. I'm, like I said, I'm not trying to judge yeah. the guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's definitely a good segment for sure, man. Yeah, the Motel Minute. It's gonna, gonna be it's gonna be, gonna, it's gonna be a winner. It's gonna be a winner because you know what? It, not every week do we get legendary voice messages like we had a couple of weeks ago. He played me the one, the long, the long on one on about on the about credit card. Losing his credit yes, card. that one. No, we tore that guy to bits on the show a couple of weeks ago. It was awesome. You guys want to hear the dude that came in? Yes. Um, Absolutely. I, I'm thinking outside the box here. I think I'm gonna um, just throw it up on my laptop. And do this whole bit. Well, in the meantime, so what's going on with with your place? The, you know, refreshing my memory. Your name and your dispensary. Killing it, Evergreen Apothecary. It's right next awesome. door. Right yeah, next I know. Door. I know. Sister store is called Colorado Harvest Company. Cool, awesome. Sure. Any cool specials? Go uh, do we? We've actually been blowing out bud, man, all week. We've had quarter, half ounce, ounce specials, man. Been doing an ounce for two hundred, man, because we have some stuff we didn't grow, you know, wholesale and whatnot. Sure. So just excess of it, so. I mean, when you come in for get a half ounce for a hundred bucks, dude, people are just lining up. How are you holding up with yeah, Mitts was a pain awesome. in the ass for Mitz me. Is always a pain in the ass. Dude. Always. Yeah. Can you explain to our listeners and viewers what Mitts is? So Mitts is basically uh, I don't really know what the hell the acronym stands for. That's funny. But it's uh, it's the way that the state tracks from seed to sale for the most part. So every single plant that produces the buds, those buds have that freaking number on it, and then if that those buds get put into processing for an edible or processing for a hash or just sold on the shelf you have that whole that number has to follow every bud and inventory is a son of a bitch per plant oh, count per patient wow yeah, and, and sure. so how often do you have to do this inventory actually we have just moved one of our senior sale one of our senior managers over to strictly inventory wow, wow. yeah so that's good that's good it's uh i mean it's so new the yeah. concept in all of it is so new that I don't think the state is really going to come and just like crack down like, holy crap, you, your system says you have an extra ounce of this and it's not the where right. is it. I think that as long as we're kind of following it and trying to do our best with it, I know that our place is shining compared to... Sure. Oh, of course. In town. You guys yeah. aren't getting raided. Right, for sure. So and you're obviously doing something right. Sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, sure. Keeping your money in Denver. Are you guys using BioTracks to BioTrack and then uh, you match it with mitts? Uh, yeah. They're they're going through so many different ways to make yep. it the most efficient. Yes. Uh, it's a, it, I, I'm glad that I don't have to have that headache. Very Honestly, good. It is a because a good thing, and it's, some people don't know. Also, once that plant's in that count, the state sees it. It's in there. It's done. You know. And now mm -hmm. that they've changed it, you know, for for example, like I do, try to do a lot of promotions where we do free doctor visits, and then you know we you know do that whole spiel. Right. But you know now, you know, for some of these caretaker providers, you know, primary caregivers, you know, these guys can only be the state lowered at thirty days. 
So, you know, once you do something like that, they can go shop anywhere. Right. So, you know, some of those things don't work now to where it used to be like a plant cow. Actually, I had been told recently that you could change <clears throat> caregiver four times a year, once every three months. But okay. I still don't think that the tracking system is very well mm -hmm. um, documented because it's not like some dude can't go to my shop, get all the caregiver benefits, go tomorrow to the next shop. Right. Give all, and then it's all like a race of what piece of mail is getting, the, you know, med. Right well away, put. Yeah. Know? Well so, put. Huh. It's yeah. a, Interesting. I, I, I think that they're doing better than they were three, four, five years ago, of right. course. There's definitely much more of it, mm -hmm. uh, of an of a eye on it. But yeah. I still don't think, I'm without a doubt for sure that there, we've got to have some patients that are signed up for caregiver. We have six yeah. of their plants. They don't have an extended plant count, so they still only have those six the plants. The six plants. But the dude up the street has those six plants, too. And Right. <clears throat> it just goes on and on. It's a rough one, dude, but they're working their way through they it. Are. I have nothing but faith in this. Hey, we get on that mic a little bit more so that we can for hear sure. you a little better? This one or this one? Either one. It's one. frustrating from a marketing person in the industry, I'll tell you that, though, yeah. trying to come up with like, schemes when the state lowers it down, and then it's like, all right, where's yeah, the incentive yeah, there? Yeah. What can I get away with and yeah. what can I not get away with? Right. Um, it's interesting because, uh, obviously, as, as everybody knows, I don't think it's a huge surprise or, or secret, but we're, you know, paving the way and it just kind of feeling things out as they come and go right Very much so. you know there it's not like there's a right. a textbook written about this that we had to use and it started with us we if there, like if we are creating that yes, textbook exactly. well it kind of started it. with california but they uh, effed it up so bad dude yeah. that i think that the way that colorado is approaching it actually uh, legitimately sure. makes it a business you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Absolutely. And with enough checks and balances to make sure it's being done properly. Definitely. And here's another good thing, too, for you. I mean, and this is where, and I've personally ran into this situation, too, for example, being on the air with us right now, um, compared to, you know, with the whole bank issue, you know, when the feds got involved, um, you know, or almost got involved, then that it then opened the doorway for terrestrial radio advertising because then, then the FCC wanted right. to jump in. Well, then that didn't happen, and then no, you know, no dispensaries now can add. So now that's the cool niche thing about having it. Right now, here you can advertise. Internet radio rules in Very that much aspect. So. Very yeah, much you so. know what? And we just have we have complete freedom over our subject and our yes. editorial content. Exactly. So we can say weed and fuck all in the same. I session. know you can <laughs> say awesome. you can say weed fuck. Weed fuck. Oh, that. Get, mm, I consummate I'm my gonna, weed fuck. I'm not gonna say whether or not we did this, but can you smoke weed on the air? I mean, can you do it on TV? Is it? That, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, in movies, you know, they're smoking that stuff. It's not actual marijuana. That, okay, like um, what we smoked, right? Yeah. Like okay. What we smoked earlier. I don't know what you're talking about. I yeah. probably shouldn't admit that I have down here. Yeah. Wait, no, maybe I haven't. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> right on, man. All well, right. This is Music Buzz Live Radio. This is Music Buzz Live Radio. Chad, as always, thanks for joining us, for man. Sure. Always we're, cool to come and show with. We're you. gonna we're gonna jam a couple songs real quick, and we're gonna see if we can't get uh, Kate Tucker down here for a couple words. This is Music Buzz Live Radio. We will be back in just a few minutes. World Viral TV. Evergreen Apothecary in the house. Finn in the house. We'll be back. <laughs> 